Hello all, welcome to my video. So in this video I'm going to show you how to get rid of the undefined index in PHP 7. As you notice, I have three input fields. So one, two, three. And right here, for each of the input fields, I have an error. So it's not an error, but it's a notice. So I have notice, it says undefined index. Well, to fix this, what you'll need to do is, you know I have three variables here they receive the value of those input fields. So right here I'm going to use an if statement. So if, and I'm going to open two parentheses and two curly braces. And right now what I'm going to do is I'm going to place my variables inside of those curly braces. And inside of the if statement, I'm going to say is it, and I'm going to open two parentheses. So I'm going to say dollar underscore so dollar underscore post and I'm going to open two brackets and two quotation marks just like I did here so I'm going to uh, copy the name so I'm going to paste one here so I have done that now if I save it and I refresh this one so if you know I should so it says line 14 wait I have done something wrong so so if is it yeah, I should close it. So I should close the parentheses correctly and I'm going to save it and refresh it. You'll notice that they are gone. So I have got rid of that error. So localhost, I just open it. There is no error. So how, how did I do it? Well, I said is it. But the error might come up. So what I'm going to do is inside of this, uh, as you notice, here, let me just, I've just made some space. So I have one asset here. So I'm going to copy it and I'm going to say or, so or, I'm going to paste it again. And I'm going to say or, and I'm going to paste it again. And I'm going to change the name so, to email and this one to message. So just to make sure that they are, they'll go forever. So now if I go to localhost, I have done that and there is no error. So what I did here is I just created this if statement and I opened two parentheses and I said is it and I opened two parentheses and I used dollar underscore post and I opened the brackets and I placed the name there. So and I did that three times because I have three input fields. If you have more input fields, you'll have to do this more and more. So I hope this video has helped you. And if you have any questions, let me know. I'll help you in the comments. Thank you all. And I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.